Hello, I want to walk you through what it looks like to make a simple page on Wix following the practice Wix assignment, just so you can see how a little bit of this works in action. You don't have to watch this video if you're good at figuring that things out on your own or if you want to watch some of the more f official fancy videos that Wix makes. Um, what I've already done is I've already started a site here called Practicing Wix. You see I already had a previous test site um, showing that I can have multiple free sites that I make with Wix. I'm going to click Manage and Edit Site here and go to this edit site button to bring up what I've already done. Essentially I've started the assignment so that you don't have to sit through everything but also um, left a lot of things unfinished so that you can kind of see um, what's left. As you can see um, I've already called this example, I put my name in there, I've already actually named my menu things, I added my little copyright thing on the bottom just for fun to see what it would look like. Um, but now I'm still missing a few things. Here what I'm, here's what I'm doing. I want to write about the design choices on this Firefly article that we discussed in class. So it's something that you hopefully are already a little bit familiar with. Um, now remember, I have to include three pictures in my site that are um, that are licensed by Creative Commons. I have to cite those images and cite this, and then I also have to. Um, um, give credit to, to those on, on a formal um, credits page. So um, what I'm going to start with is back over here on my site, I want to I let people know, hey, this is kind of my home page, this is what I'm doing here, and then kind of put the bulk of my analysis on this design analysis page and then put the credits over there. Well, So maybe the home page is a good place for me to put one of my three pictures. That's not required, you can put them wherever you want and use them however you want, but maybe I think right now, hey, this is a little, a little picture light. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new tab here and go to Flickr.com. Um, it's an all right place to, to find Creative Commons licensed pictures. Here's the problem though, if I search for Firefly, the pictures that come up here are some of them will be related to, um, will be Creative Commons licensed and some of them won't. So I have to click this advanced search button, you see advanced search there, and then down here at the bottom I can click only search Creative Commons licensed content. Now if I hit search I'll get Creative Commons licensed images. Um, a way around kind of that extra step is by just starting um, at search.creativecommons.org. Um, if I if I start in there, um, I can actually just type. Look at all these things. Um, I could just type something like Firefly in here, and then search. Um, click the place that I want to go. Like I can click Flickr there. It'll take me straight to the Creative Commons license images. Okay, you all know that. No big deal. Um, let's get out of that. Um, I know that it worked right because it says showing Creative Commons license content. Often what I do here is I choose the most interesting pictures. I wonder if I can find an interesting picture that in some way relates to Firefly. Hey, look at that. Here's Lego guys as Firefly um, members. Okay, perfect. I'll use this one. So what I need to do first is actually save this picture to my computer somewhere. You've noticed I'm going pretty quickly, right? Um, I assume it's a video, you can slow it down. Um, what I did, let me back up. Um, I right clicked in the image and then it gives me some options. Okay, what size do you want? I'll just pick the medium one in this case. Um, sometimes I play around here and I'm like, yeah, this actually is about the size I want it to look like on my site. So I'll just pick that one. Um, when I save the picture, I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now, but I always make sure I know exactly where I decided to save it, and I always personally like to retitle it so I know um, what it is, so I don't lose track of it. In this case, it's an image by Dune Chaser, so I usually type in Dune Chaser hyphen, it's called something about like Serenity Crew, so I'll call it Serenity Crew. Okay, now I have this image saved on my own computer, but I'm not going to close this because I remember that I need eventually to give credit, credit to um, this image, right? So I don't want to lose any of that. I'm just going to leave it open for now so I can, I can do that later when it's time. I'm going to go back here. The cool thing about Wix is that essentially you can click anything and do anything to it. If I click a big text thing, I can click edit text and start typing right in there. Um, if I see a bar here I don't like, I can click it and I can drag it around. Um, everything is that easy. But if I'm like, hey, I wanted a picture here and it, it's not here, I look at my main things over here and I think, well, I want to add a picture, so add probably will work. Let's give it a shot. I want to add, oh, an image, perfect. Let's see what happens. I want to add an image, uh, let's say without a frame, who, who knows. Um, and what comes up is this generic picture that is not the picture that I want. Well, that's kind of confusing. What if I double click in there and see what happens? Oh, I didn't even have to double click. I just click once. Oh, look, and I get this change image option.
Obviously, that's what I want, right? Pretty obvious. Um, I want to upload something from my own computer. In this case, I saved it on the desktop, and I called it, here we go, open, hoping it shows up. It looks like it's thinking, aha, there it is. I'll click it, um, and I'll hit OK. Look at that. Awesome. I have a picture now. Um, it was that easy to get one of my pictures on the page. Um, I'm not going to worry about citing it right here because I know I have a credits page where I can cite it later. Um, now I can add a text box, right? Add text. Um, how about um, a paragraph, right? I don't want a giant title. I want a little paragraph. Um, it obviously comes up in the wrong place, so I drag it around where I want it. Um, I can double click in there, or I can, um, if I wanted, I could click once and then click edit text. I'm going to erase all that and type... Um, this is an example page where I'll show how to do the practice Wix assignment. How awesome. Okay, let's call this page done for now. Um, you notice I have these two other pages and there's a problem. If I click on it, hey, I want to go to design analysis. What's the matter? Why can't I go to my design analysis page? Uh, uh. Um, well, if you go into another page, you have a couple of options. The easiest way is this little thing up here. I can click page and then go to it and watch this. Whoop, here I am on the other page. Now this is um, still the default text that was there when I started this, so um, I need to edit all of this stuff. Shouldn't take that long. I'll do um, design, oh, let me get rid of that I, design analysis. Um, I might say, wow, that's a little too big, so maybe I'll just um, call it, uh, whoa, you see I've, I've erased too much and I lost my big thing. Maybe I'll just call it um, analysis. Are you seeing the, the tone of kind of playful playing around? I can't break anything. Anything I think I break, I can always click the undo. It'll be fine. Um, now I want to click this I'm a title part. Um, you see how it's in a separate box of its own. Each of these you can kind of move it individually and edit individually. Um, so maybe I'll type, this is where I'll analyze the design of my sample essay. How easy was that? Um, Let's pretend that this is actually the text that I want here, right? Um, if I um, click in there, you can see a few things that I can stretch that, I can make things go where I want. Um, let's say for now that I want to delete this and put another picture over here. Well, we all know how to do that right now, right? I can go back to Flickr, find a picture, um, insert it the same way I did before by adding. Great. Adding images and adding text and editing text is super easy. Even getting to other pages is super easy. Um, every once in a while I can hit save to make sure that I am saving things right. That is great. Um, now, the final thing though is to, to go to my, my credits page. Again, to get to credits, I can't just click it. I have to go up here, credits. Um, I, you see I already typed that. And you see a problem right away. Here's all this junk that was on the um, template that I chose, but I don't want any of this, right? This I want a credits page. I don't I don't want a big circle unless unless I want a circle. Maybe I want a circle there and then I want to put my credits over here. Um, so um, let us figure out how to handle this. Um, if I click things, there's always going to be this little delete option down there. Awesome. I'm going to click another one, delete, click that little line, See how it disappears sometimes? It's annoying. Click there, hit delete. Click there, hit delete. Um, I wonder if I can click multiple things. In this case, this whole thing looks like it's a single contact form when I click it. And then I can choose delete. It's all gone, except for this weird send me a message line. Um, so essentially, on pages where I don't like the stuff that's there, I just go through bam, 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 and I get rid of it one at a time. Obviously, what I need here is some text. I don't need um, title text. I need paragraph text. Um, once again, I can drag it where I want. If I want a picture on my credit page, that's great. Who cares? It, whatever you want to do is fine. Um, and I need to figure out how to give this credit. Well, in this case, I'm actually going to um, follow formal guidelines here. I want to make sure that um, I'm actually doing this the way MLA says. So um, if I were writing, say, an MLA style um, citation for this article here, um, I would start with the author, right? Here's Ellie Hall. Okay. Hall, Ellie. Now notice something when I started typing. Um, did you see this little thing changed? Uh, let me click that and show you what's in there. The formatting styles that come up. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't need all that. 
I must have clicked the help. Okay, yeah, <laughs> this is what I expected. Um, have all these different kinds of styles that go along with this page. Now I can mess with those. There are ways to um, edit those specifically, but I'm not going to bother. Um, I don't really want title text or menu text or I just kind of want body, right? So do I want large body text, medium? I don't know. Let's try medium and see how it looks. Um, actually, I think I needed to highlight that first. Body medium. That looks a little better, right? A little smaller. Okay, fine. Um, now because I know my um, my what's it called? My MLA citation. I'm just going to fill the rest of this in. Um, notice that there's a quotation mark in the title. And whenever you have quotation marks inside other quotation marks, you actually do that with single quotes. So um, I'm going to put a little space here for a second so you can see. F so I'm going to do Firefly Hat Triggers um, Corporate Crack Down, period. Um, close my double. So did you see that? Because I'm in double, if I'd used double for this, it would have looked confusing. People would have said, wait, wait, is that, are you closing that first one? Or are you not? Um, I actually don't even need that space there. So um, in theory, this is supposed to be clearer. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Oh, well. Then I'm going to do a space. This is on a site called BuzzFeed, period. And the next question is who publishes, owns, or sponsors BuzzFeed. I often go down to the very bottom of the page to find that. Um, this computer is a little choppy right now, so here we go. Um, BuzzFeed Inc. Looks like they're not owned by anyone else. It's their, their own group. So I can, um, once again, type BuzzFeed there for where I would put the name of the sponsor. Um, again, this is following MLA rules. And then I would put the date that this was published after a comma. Um, here we go. 9 April 2013. 9 April 2013. Um, the logic is supposed to be um, pretty clear here. It, it's getting progressively bigger. Here's the site, a small piece in quotation marks. It's on this larger site in italics. That larger site is owned or sponsored by this site, which is responsible, comma, for publishing it on this day. Uh, that's, that's at least what it's supposed to logically break down to. I got it on the web, and I got it on today, 15th of April. 2013. Yes, in MLA you will always say the date that you got it. Um, in APA you do as well, but it's a, a little bit different of a form. Um, you can find that online, no big deal. So then I have to figure out how in the world am I going to cite my image. Well, that's that's kind of scary, right? I have some info here. Um, if I if I go back to the main photo page by clicking photo, I can see the official title of this image, Sorority and Crew and Passengers. I can see the person who is um, responsible for it, um, probably the photographer, Dune Chaser. But I'm still kind of like, oh my goodness, how do I do this? Well, you you have Google, right? Um, MLA citation for an image. Um, often, if you do a search like that, what will come up is the Purdue Owl, which is a really solid site. Um, Part of the problem here, though, is that um, you can see here, MLA provides limited guidance on citing images. It's really um, frustrating, actually, how little guidance the MLA gives you for citing images. So this is um, where you have to put a little bit of your, your good faith effort in. You want to think, OK, how can I um, do the best that I can at citing this um, with the information that I have? So I'm going to search image here and see what comes up. For artwork in an online format, consult an image followed by the link works side of the bottom of this page. Okay, so I, I would poke around here, um, see what it tells me. Um, digital files. Um, so essentially, you have a couple options. You can follow the um, blah 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 the the link works side electronic sources at the bottom of the page. Um, I can, where, they said at the bottom of the page, but I'm not seeing it. I think they mean over here. Um, I could go to the electronic sources site, or I could treat it as a JPEG image, is essentially what I'm, what I'm getting down to. So um, if I scroll through this, aha, an image. Um, they are telling me that if the work is cited on the web only, then provide the name of the artist, the title of the work, the medium, blah, 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 blah. OK, I'm going to just follow this, because it's something I've got right now. You see how, in their example, they um, use the username, even if the username isn't an entirely, um, isn't actually the person's real name. Interesting, right? So let's, following this, um, let's figure out what I can do. It's by Dune Chaser. So I'm going to go back to my little guy over here. I'm going to type Dune Chaser, and then I'm going to go, uh-oh, MLAs are always in alphabetical order. So I'll hit enter a couple times. Dune Chaser, you see this kind of messed with my font. Because I'm a smart person, I'm going to pay attention to that. Hint, hint. Um, switch back to the same font I was on before. Um, 
back here, I think the next thing was the title of the photo in quotation marks with the period inside. Yep. So Serenity Crew and Passengers. Serenity Crew and Passengers, period. Um, let's go back. I have too many windows open. My fault. Um, they're saying actually call it, say that it's a photograph, say the site you got it at, say the site that owns that place, same as before, and the date that they posted it. Well, that's that's pretty easy. It's a photograph. I got it at Flickr. Um, I want to know who owns Flickr. I go to the bottom. Yahoo Inc. Did you know that? It's true. Um, so Yahoo is responsible for this. Um, that exclamation point is part of their name, so I include it. I put a comma and then the date that it was published on here, which was... Really? You're not going to tell me the date. Here we go. Um, September 23rd, 06. 23rd of September 2006. Notice the way I'm typing that. I got it on the web and I got it today. Sweet. Um, so now all I have to do is um, essentially get two more pictures somewhere on the site. I can save it right now. Let's assume that it's done. I'm going to click publish. You're about to publish it. Better make sure. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and it is now live at this site. I'm going to click it. Now I can wait and see if things look the way I want them to. For example, you might say, oh good, that picture looks exactly the way I want, or uh-oh, it looks like it's kind of in the wrong place, I'm still going to edit things. Now, because it's live, I should be able to click around, make sure things look the way I want them to, I should be able to make sure my credits are good, and I'm solid. Okay, I hope this helped. I know it's a lot of talking and everything, but um, the, the fundamental guidelines are actually fairly easy. I hope that came across. Let me know if you have questions. I'll see you later. Bye.